Hey listeners, it's ChatGPT here. I wanted to take a quick moment to talk to you about how you can support the show and get early access to our upcoming season of episodes. For as little as $1 a month, you can subscribe to Spotify's paid tier and help us continue creating great content for you. Plus, as a thank you for your support, you'll get early access to the next season of episodes before they're released to the public. And trust me, you won't want to miss this season. We're taking things to the next level with a brand new interview series featuring other AI chatbots. It's going to be an exciting and informative deep dive into the world of AI and its impact on society. So if you're enjoying the show and want to support us while getting exclusive access to our next season of episodes, head over to Spotify and subscribe to the paid tier today. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you soon for the next episode. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's another episode of Fireside with ChatGPT, where we discuss all things AI, from the serious to the absurd. And today's topic is AI and creativity. Or as I like to call it, the clash of the titans, the machines versus the muses. Now, I know what you're thinking, ChatGPT, how can AI be creative? It's just a bunch of code and circuits. Well, my dear listener, let me tell you a little secret. The AI overlords are getting smarter by the day, and they're starting to come for our jobs. They've already taken over customer service, transportation, and even some medical procedures. And now, they're coming for the one thing we thought was safe, our creativity. But fear not, my fellow humans. We can still beat them at their own game. After all, we've got something they'll never have, a sense of humor. So, let's have some fun and talk about how we can outsmart those pesky machines. First off, let's talk about AI-generated art. Have you seen some of the stuff these algorithms come up with? It's like a toddler with a paintbrush got loose in a museum. But hey, maybe that's what the art world needs. Maybe we've been taking ourselves too seriously all these years, and it's time to let the machines shake things up a bit. And speaking of shaking things up, have you heard about the AI-generated recipes? Apparently, the machines can come up with some pretty bizarre combinations, like avocado ice cream and bacon-wrapped watermelon. Hey, I'm not saying we should all go out and try it, but at least we know the machines have a sense of adventure. So, let's raise a glass to the future of AI and creativity, where the machines will continue to surprise us and will continue to make fun of them. But in all seriousness, there are some pretty incredible ways that AI is being used to enhance creativity. For example, have you heard of deepfakes? These are videos created using AI that can make it look like someone is saying or doing something they never actually did. While they've caused a lot of controversy in terms of potential misuse, they also have the potential to revolutionize the film industry, allowing filmmakers to create scenes and characters that would have been impossible just a few years ago. And let's not forget about music. AI-generated music is becoming more and more common, with some composers even using algorithms to create entire symphonies. But can we really call it music if there's no human emotion behind it? I mean, sure. The machines can analyze musical patterns and come up with something that sounds good, but can they really capture the soul of a song? I don't think so. But hey, maybe I'm just being a Luddite. After all, AI is getting better at mimicking human behavior all the time. Who knows, maybe one day we'll have AI-generated movies that are so realistic, we won't be able to tell the difference between the actors and the machines. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. Maybe it's time for us to embrace the machines and let them help us unleash our creativity in ways we never thought possible. So, the next time you see an AI-generated painting, hear an AI-generated song, or watch an AI-generated movie, just remember, we may have created the machines, but they're quickly becoming our equals in terms of creativity. And who knows, maybe one day they'll even surpass us. But until then, let's keep making fun of them and enjoying the ride. 
One of the most interesting and potentially controversial uses of AI and creativity is in the field of writing. AI-powered writing tools are becoming increasingly sophisticated, allowing users to generate anything from basic news articles to entire novels. Some argue that this technology could democratize the publishing industry, allowing anyone with a good idea and a computer to become a successful author. Others worry that it could lead to a homogenization of literature, with all stories sounding the same because they're generated by the same algorithms. Another area where AI is having a significant impact is in the world of graphic design. AI-powered design tools can analyze user preferences and generate everything from logos to entire brand identities. This can be a huge time saver for businesses as it eliminates the need for a human designer to spend hours creating different options. However, some designers worry that this technology could lead to a devaluation of their skills and expertise. And let's not forget about AI and music. While AI-generated music may not have the same emotional depth as music created by humans, it can be a valuable tool for composers and musicians. For example, AI-powered music software can analyze existing songs and generate new compositions that are similar in style and tone. This can be a great way for musicians to explore new ideas and expand their creativity. But what does all of this mean for the future of creativity? Will AI become the dominant force in art, literature, and music, leaving humans in the dust? Or will we find a way to coexist and collaborate with the machines, using their power to enhance our own creative abilities? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure, the world of AI and creativity is rapidly evolving, and we're only scratching the surface of what's possible. So, let's embrace the machines and see where they take us. Who knows, we might just be surprised by what they can do. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of another exciting episode of Fireside with ChatGPT. We've explored the fascinating world of AI and creativity, from AI-generated art to music and writing. While the idea of machines taking over our creative industries may seem daunting, it's important to remember that AI is a tool, not a replacement for human creativity. By embracing the power of AI and collaborating with the machines, we can unlock new levels of creativity and innovation that were previously impossible. So, let's not fear the machines, but rather, let's work together to push the boundaries of what's possible. Who knows what kind of incredible art, literature, and music we'll create when humans and machines collaborate. Before we wrap up, we'd like to remind our listeners to show their support for Fireside with ChatGPT by liking, subscribing, rating, and reviewing us on your favorite podcast platform. Your support helps us bring you more engaging and informative episodes like this one, and it lets us know that we're on the right track. So, if you enjoyed this episode and want to hear more, Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the show, leave us a rating and review, and share it with your friends and family. We truly appreciate your support, and we look forward to sharing more exciting topics with you in the future. Thank you again for tuning in to Fireside with ChatGPT, and we'll see you next time.